right, so I'm just going to demonstrate some kinesiology taping on a, on a horse. Um, so basically we have the two different widths of tape. This is the big daddy. It's the four inch width. And this is the two inch standard. And this happens to also be the equine tape that, can use, uh, that rock tape makes, which is made specifically for taping animals. It's stickier. So we're going to use a little, bit of, a little bit of this on Shay. So now I'm going to do a pain taping on Shay's neck. So let's say that she's got a little bit of pain in this area. I'm going to show you what that would look like. So I'm going to cut out a piece of rock tape that fits into the area of where the pain is located. Notice I have my non-stick scissors, so it makes it easier to cut it. And then I'm also going to round the edges just to make it look a little bit nicer and keep it from catching on anything. Like if we were to put a blanket on her or anything like that, we don't want it to catch on that as we're pulling it over her head. So I'm gonna do that. Then once I do that, the proper way to handle the tape is we would actually tear the paper at the base. So to tear that, I'm just gonna pull it like this, because you see the tape stretches along the longitudinal axis, the paper does not stretch. So once we pull it that way, the paper tears. I'm gonna pull off this piece of paper and then I'm gonna take the base and I'm gonna place the base down on Shay's neck where I want it. So we're gonna put it right here because that's where her pain was. And I'm gonna rub it down good to just to make sure that it stuck to her well. And then I'm just gonna pull this paper off and lay the rest of the tape down with paper off tension. Another thing that we could do when we're doing the neck is we could always bend our head away from us and lay it down paper off tension like that. So that's gonna ensure that she has full range of motion. It puts a little extra stretch into it. And then you can see when she pulls her head back, we get a few convolutions in there. It's some wrinkles. That's a good thing. Um, it just goes ahead and it helps lift the skin and decompress it a little bit more when you have those convolutions present. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of the two inch tape to use as an anchor to help hold that down. It's also gonna help with decreasing pain as well. So we're getting those pieces cut and I'm going to round the edges on those as well. Just make them look a little bit prettier. Make sure they don't stick on anything. And we're going to put those at the top and the bottom of the piece of Big Daddy to anchor it down. So I'm just going to tear this tape in the middle to make it a little bit easier and peel those edges up. And I'm just going to place that down right there. I'm just going to put a little bit of stretch into it, not very much. And absolutely no stretch on the ends, because we don't want those ends to pop up on us. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. We're going to tear the paper in the middle. Just give it a little tiny bit of stretch. Place that down. And rub it down real good. And that is a pan taping.